Hi, welcome to another RHC series video. In this one, we'll look at database services. Let's have a look at the objectives first. So, under uh, database services, you are required to install and configure MariaDB, backup and restore a database, create a simple database schema, perform simple SQL queries against a database. The usual around uh, network services, such as installing the correct packages, configuring the service to start automatically, uh, also applies. So on server one, we will install and configure MariaDB. We will um, create a sample, a uh, simple database schema, and we will um, insert some sample data into that uh, database. We'll do a backup and restore of the database. We'll also uh, perform some simple SQL queries against the database. Uh, finally, we'll create a user and give the user some privileges on that database. I'll also quickly show you the help system. Okay, so let's get uh, started. First thing we want to do is install the packages. Uh, so let's see what's available. So if we do a yum search MariaDB, that will list uh, all the packages. Um, I think MariaDB server and MariaDB are sufficient. So yum install dash y MariaDB, MariaDB dash server. Okay. Let's um, enable and start the service. So first system CTL enable MariaDB and then system CTL start not enable start MariaDB. Okay, there is a um, utility available, uh, mysql underscore secure uh, installation that you can run, which is wizard based and it does it some basic setup for you. So let's run that first. Because one of the things it allows you to do is set the root password. So by default, there isn't one, we will set one. Uh, so why, and then I'm gonna use a very simple password. It also allows you to remove anonymous users. You can also disallow root login remotely. We won't bother with that. And there's also a, allows you to remove a test database. Okay, so let's log into MariaDB. So it's just mysql-p and then the password we just uh, searched. Show databases shows you all the current databases. Okay. To uh, show all the tables in a database, you can do describe, um, then the name of the database. Okay, so it looks like we have to select the database first. So to select the database, you type use and the name of the database. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, actually, to show the tables, you uh, actually type show tables. Describe and the name of a table actually shows a table, not a database. So let's do show tables first. Okay, so these are all the tables in the database called MySQL. And if we wanted to uh, see how a table is um, set up, we do descri describe and then the name of the table. The describe user shows all the fields. Okay, so let's create a database. So that's simply create database and then a name. I will call our one address book. It'll be a very simple database. Okay, so let's uh, select that database. So use address book. Show table. This should be empty. Yep, so let's uh, create a table. So 
in our database, in our address book, we'll create a table called contact. And so we want first name and we want uh, 15 character. So varchar um, 15 in brackets. We want, also want a last name and same again varchar uh, 15. Uh, no space. And finally, let's do a, oh yes, is comma comma after each um, field. So first name, last name, and then telephone. And this one will be number, so int. And yeah, 15 characters is sufficient. Okay, so that has created our table. We do a show tables, that should list it. Yes, there we go. And then describe the name of the table and it shows you the fields and the type of data you can have. Um, so let's insert some sample data. So that's insert into name of the table. And then the values. And you have to match them per field. So first name Akbar, second name, last name, sorry, Mia. And then phone number, let's just do one, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, uh, the app arrow key brings back the last command you run. So if you're inserting data, that's a quick way to bring that up. And then let's create another one Steve Jobs. And we'll leave the phone number the same. Uh, one final one. Uh, Bill Gates. Okay, let's change the number, phone number as well. We'll just add a, another number at the end. Okay. Great, so we have our database, we have some sample data. So let's uh, do a quick query. So select star means all from uh, the name of the table. And that shows us all our data. Okay, so what we'll do now, we will um, back up the database. So to back a database up, we use MySQL dump. And the name of the database and then just output that to a uh, file so then our database was address book actually and then uh, so address book dot sql so then that outputs uh, the data into a sql file which you can then restore okay let's have a quick look at the contents you can see it's just a lot of SQL statements. Okay, so let's go, let's go back into MySQL. So if we show our databases, and we have, let's uh, delete MySQL, uh, let's do the address book. So that's drop database in the name of the database. Okay, if we do a show database again, that should be gone. Okay, so now let's recreate the database. Let's create, it, create database and then the name. Okay, let's... Uh, Select address book. So use address book will select that database. If we should do a show table, this empty at the moment. So now we want to restore our um, the backup we took. So that's source, and then the path to the file. So so in our case it was root address book dot sql. 
Okay, looks like it's worked. So let's have a look at the data. So show tables, yes. So we have our one table, and then if we do a select from select all from contact, there you go. You can also do select a particular uh, field, so first name from contact. Okay, and then we can do um, a slightly more complicated query where and a condition so where telephone equals one two three four five six seven and you can also do not equal so that's just exclamation in front okay there you go So um, it's got a good uh, help system, uh, SQL. So if you do help contents, that shows you why. Uh, should just, um, yeah, help contents will show you um, uh, what all the help topics that's available. So help contents, and as you see, all the various different things. So if you were looking to create a user, for example, uh, help account management, that shows you that's all the different things available. So create user. So if you type help create user, that gives you a more detailed help. It even has examples. So there you go, it's create a user, and then shows you how to do that. So let's create a user called Akbar. Okay, so now I want to give this uh, user some privileges. So again, if we look at the topics, um, we choose one. So it's probably administration. So let's have a look at help, help administration. Okay, so no, it's not administration. It's more likely to be, let's have a look at the contents again, actually. It's probably be account, account management. Okay, yeah, so there it is, grant. So if we do help grant, that again gives you some examples that you can use. So grant all on, and then the name of database dot name of table, star means all the tables, uh, to, and then the username. Okay, so there you go. So let's log in as Akbar. So you might go dash u and then you can specify the user uh, dash p and then type the password in. All right, let's do a show databases. Okay, there you go. There's a dress book. Let's uh, use a dress book. We run a quick query against the database. Okay. And that concludes the video for um, database services. I hope you found it useful uh, and thank you for watching. Uh, some contact details on the screen. If you have any questions or suggestions, um, feel free to uh, drop me a line.